We're back again in the World War Simulator, but what if we turned it into a US battle simulator? There is now a beautiful North American map, and we're gonna be able to fit a lot of places on this thing. So we need a Texas, Florida, and California. Oh man, this is gonna be difficult. Michigan, New York, oh no. I'm gonna have to just eyeball this, honestly. Uh, Maine, Massachusetts, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, am I missing some states in there? <laughs> Georgia, this is actually way more difficult than I thought. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Q Cuba in there for good measure. Can a Puerto Rico and a Jamaica even survive on these small islands? I'm really thrown off by the projection of this map. Uh, New Mexico, Arizona, Oregon, Washington. Uh, can we squeeze Alaska like way up here in the corner? Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota. I actually had to pull up a map on my phone. I'm just not used to this angle. Idaho, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. Something doesn't feel right here. Okay, I believe that's kind of all of them. I'll throw a Baja California sewer and Norte. Maybe a couple of Mexican states. Gotta have like Ontario and Quebec. And then like those four over here. Hey, Greenland is technically on this map. That's awesome. This thing is going to be so chaotic. All right, I definitely cannot allow revolutions. That's gonna be too much. Already have enough on the board. I named this Canadian city Oakland. I don't know if you want that Canada. But let's watch as all of these states, provinces, and some cities completely take over the map. We already have our first war with Tennessee and Kentucky. Also South Carolina versus Georgia and Virginia versus Maryland. This is going to be like really a strange map, but it kind of works weirdly. There's an alliance between California and Oregon already. Look at Nevada cut across and get to San Francisco. The Mexican states might be a little too OP because there's a lot of land for them to work with down here. Same for the Canadian provinces. There's just so much for them to grab up. Greenland to, whoops, I forgot to rename. Greenland looks like they are trying to make it to some of the other areas. They're doing some naval invasions, maybe against Quebec soon. Right now, as you can see from the notifications down here, there are just a lot of alliances building up. The wars are somewhat, oh wait, Virginia has already destroyed West Virginia? I almost completely missed that. Oklahoma versus Arkansas. What's, or well, Oklahoma kind of has their panhandle, somewhat. But what are they going to do without their almighty pa panhandle? Louisiana double teaming Arkansas now. And Oklahoma getting an alliance with Missouri. Iowa and Wisconsin going at it. Minnesota is focused on Manitoba to the north. Alaska was destroyed by Yukon. Yeah, I mean, Alaska had just barely anything over here. This is absolutely nuts. This is definitely the craziest version of this game I've ever seen. It's just the amount of nations. So we have the death of Georgia, destroyed by South Carolina. Uh, Maine was destroyed by New Hampshire, and then Arkansas was destroyed by Oklahoma. Let's see if it is truly all Ohio. West Virginia seems to be kind of pulling out in the East Coast. They look pretty big. Again, as we've seen, though, this game will, like, have a nation be the leader for a while, and then all of a sudden they'll just collapse. Not even due to revolution, sometimes they will just lose. We have the Northwest Territories moving in after Alberta. I'm starting to feel like the nations that are cornered off uh, are gonna do a lot better. These ones in the center, they're in a lot of trouble. Wyoming and South Dakota declaring a coalition war against Nebraska, very close to taking out Nebraska. Guatemala was destroyed by Honduras. Vermont was destroyed by Connecticut. And then right after that, Connecticut was destroyed by Rhode Island. Yeah, because they were all right next to each other. Look at this chaos. We have the fall of Texas. Texas is now dead. And then California was destroyed by Baja, California. There's just way too much to look at here. The map is slowly cleaning itself up. Although, look at Florida go after Cuba. Florida has made a landing in Cuba. They've peaced out, but we'll see how long that lasts. Puerto Rico looks like it's doing pretty okay over here, and Jamaica is surviving. Montana was destroyed by Alberta, and New Hampshire was destroyed by Rhode Island. Wisconsin and Michigan double-teaming Indiana, but they're also fighting Ontario up here. And New Jersey was destroyed by New York. So the East Coast is slowly cleaning itself up a little bit. We are going to see some major border gore, I can already tell. Although some of these nations have, like, pretty nice squares. Uh, the nation that I'll never be able to pronounce, Sasquatch, blah, blah, blah. Washington was destroyed by oh, uh, Idaho, Colorado destroyed by Utah, and then there's only like three or five, five Mexican states left. Baja California, look at them go. They're going after Arizona. They just ate Nevada, I believe, and they destroyed Arizona as well. Big war between Idaho and Utah, and New Mexico is moving in after Oklahoma. Also, no, my birth state. No, 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 hold them back. They're so close. Peace out. Peace out right now. Okay, they're dead. This means Florida's going to get even more land. Cuba's gone, and actually Jamaica got some of that stuff too. South Carolina looks like it's going to beat North Carolina, but we don't know for sure yet. New Mexico now attacking Louisiana. With the death of Wisconsin, also of Ohio. It is not all Ohio. Indiana's gone, so the Rust Belt is 
kind of cleaned up a little bit. Well, we'll see if like West Virginia or Pennsylvania win this. Idaho's gone. Utah, again, very big. British Columbia looks like they might collapse next. Alberta's going to take that over, I think. Yeah, so West Virginia did die to Pennsylvania. Also, New York, very close to getting that Rhode Island capital, but they got to get all the way in the corner. Wyoming has broke their alliance with South Dakota. They're both still alive, though. Jalisco was destroyed down here in Mexico. Northwest Territories gone, not Nunavut. This is going to be the second AI game that I would have seen Nunavut do amazing. They're looking like they're going to be pretty amazing. Oh, Greenland's already getting pushed back. Look at Quebec. French Quebec go. They're taking over this uh, Danish land. Kentucky's gone. And is this the fall of New Mexico? New Mexico, that's a huge loss here. Baja California, they're fighting both Utah and Oregon. The U.S. states are trying to push back the Mexican states now. Missouri is looking really big here. But man, they have a lot of neighbors. They need to be playing a very good diplomatic game. Make one person angry, they're going down. Oh, is North Carolina going to maybe make a comeback? They're, are they, they were looking really weak for a second there. Look at Nunavut. They're still going. Who's going to stop them? Washington is gone, and I think British Columbia might be next. Florida is keeping itself safe in this peninsula. We've seen a lot of peninsula nations uh, do pretty well. There goes Louisiana. It's because it's so hard to, like, drive yourself down into that landmass. Now, Michigan is heading in after Missouri. Even though Missouri was big, they're not able to keep this front. Rhode Island's still alive, and I'm assuming all these cities might be keeping them a bit safer. You can see a lot of the great powers coming from Canada and Mexico. If we check the size map, it's actually Nunavut and Quebec way out ahead. Then it's Yukon. The first U.S. state is actually just Oregon. There is no revolution, so we will be able to go until there's only one state or province left. Wyoming is fighting two different nations at once. North Dakota's gone, but man, South Dakota looks like they barely exist too. Mississippi destroyed by Oklahoma, which means Oklahoma is the big bad guy right here. They look like they can also compete with Durango. Now they move in after Wyoming. Also Missouri moving in after South Dakota. Puebla is trying to take out Honduras, but they did peace out. Not much is going to be happening in the Caribbean. I think this is just going to be too difficult of land to take fully until there's like a really big power that rises up. So New York is still alive in the East Coast. They're actually the only Northeaster state that I think, I mean, does Pennsylvania count? Well, Pennsylvania might just die in any second. Michigan's looking huge. And Michigan has the Great Lakes to somewhat protect them, I think. Big war between Yukon and Nunavut. Also, uh, Toronto, or the equivalent, is gone. Ontario, basically. So, Quebec, there's like three great powers in Canada. They did also manage to take out Greenland. So, Quebec is actually number one. Look at Oklahoma go. Oklahoma is now in third place. Whoa, they're looking big. They're like unifying the South. They have an alliance with Puebla or something. Minnesota destroyed by South Dakota. South Dakota is still okay. And I guess North Carolina won in the Carolinan Wars. Pennsylvania is still going. But look at North Carolina blocking off Pennsylvania so they can... Are they trying to fight Quebec or something? New York going after the French speaking province of Quebec as well. Baja California is now moving in. Is Puebla attacking or what's going on? Oklahoma's looking like it's losing a lot of land. Yeah, they're fighting... They're fighting three different fronts all at once. They better hope Puebla does not get into that. Maybe it won't matter. Missouri's getting dangerously close to the Oklahoma capital. Are they going to get it? They, oh, they peace out at the last second. You guys got so lucky. You also got an alliance at the last second. How'd you get that lucky? Oregon's looking like a pretty good sized state over this way. Let's not sleep on Oregon now. The fall of North Carolina, they were destroyed by New York, but I think Quebec might destroy New York itself. Uh, yep, there goes New York. They were too distracted in the south. There goes Oklahoma at the same time. So we only have a couple states left. Baja California now going to attempt to take out the magical shadow realm of Wyoming. Oregon and Yukon now finally getting into it. Also Nunavut. So everyone just gonna move straight south and straight north and there's gonna be just chaos in the middle. Florida is, Florida is still going. Oh no, Michigan finally died. Pennsylvania is still alive, but they, I mean, how? I don't know how that's happening. You literally don't have one of your blocks next to the city. Okay, you're dead. You're dead instantly. Oh yeah, you're, you're gone. So now it's Missouri as I think the top state, maybe the top state, but then again, Florida's doing okay too. Florida has got to get rid of Jamaica and Puerto Rico. Missouri was doing okay, but now South Dakota is making it an evil alliance with Quebec. Very evil. You can't be teaming up like that. Puebla going after Baja California and Baja California sewer. Very close. I think they're going to get it. They're going to unify the Bajas. There they go. Nunavut and Quebec as like the all-time great powers up here going at it. Oh, Missouri now cutting in with Florida too. They're going to push Quebec way back. They're, they're tired of the French. They're like, get the French out and we're Putin up there for them. Putin, Putin, you know, whatever. I think there's about 10 major powers. Maybe not even that many. Eight major powers, but there's more nations left on the map. This nation by far is now
around Nunavut after Quebec got pushed way back, but Quebec is now making their own push forward, trying to regain some of their territory. They're getting help from Yukon too. Oregon is still number one. Missouri was the number one U.S. state in terms of size and territory, but Missouri is now dead. They have Missouri's, oh, no, they pieced out, never mind. Florida, how did you get pushed out of Cuba? How did Jamaica do that to you? Look at all these dead islands are dead, I mean, circles. They're, they're something. Islands of population density. Oh, man, Wyoming is falling so fast. I, I This is not even sped up. Wyoming just had no army right here next to Nunavut. They peaced out for now. Okay, other states now trying to join in to stop them. The final four states are actually Florida, South Dakota, Wyoming, and Oregon. Didn't expect those four. Again, U.S. states moving in after Nunavut. So I think the AI realizes when someone's pulling out ahead and they'll, they're maybe more likely to attack or like double attack at least. Quebec is now actually number one. Nunavut has been pushed into third. Oh, and Quebec is now moving. They're, they're getting a lot of stuff. They're moving into Missouri. Missouri is going to collapse probably from South Dakota, though, at any moment. Don't forget about Puebla down here. Although Honduras has gotten very close. Honduras could do the most epic uh, showdown. It could seize them out really quick. So Missouri was destroyed by South Dakota. Jamaica was destroyed by Puerto Rico. So Puerto Rico somehow unifying the Caribbean for now, or almost. Florida got some stuff. Are they going to be able to do this? Honduras did did declare war in Puebla, but they're not able to push forward. They were so close to this capital. And now that Florida is trying to land in the Yucatan Peninsula, I think Honduras is going to die. Look at Oregon go. This is what Oregon has to do. They have to start eating weaker neighbors, and that happens to be Wyoming. They just got to get bigger at this point because their neighbors are way too scary. Maybe they can go after South Dakota too after this. Okay, so they did manage to get the kill. The problem is now Nunavut is after Oregon. Oh, okay, Oregon is fighting. Is Oregon, Oregon and Yukon kind of teaming up? Can you get the South Dakota kill now? I don't know. Well, they piece out. I think it's actually possible that Nunavut falls. Look at all the major powers they're surrounded by. Quebec is now number one in terms of size. Oh, they just took out. Oh my goodness. Quebec is so strong. The French, they're going back after Louisiana. They're going after the old Louisiana territory. Florida's been cut off from their land in Mexico. Nunavut might fall. Is Quebec going to join in? Are they seeing this right now? This is incredible. South Dakota still exists, but oh, they might. I don't know if they will for much longer. Oregon is making a comeback. Look at how big Oregon is getting. I don't know if they're number one. They are currently number two. This is crazy. I think Puebla might have been like really pushing a lot of their resources at Honduras and that might have slowly destroyed their military with the help of South Dakota too. Let's not forget about the assist from South Dakota. Then there goes Florida. All of the U.S. states moving in and Honduras. Nunavut, oh, oh is this going to be, is this it? If Yukon joins in, yes, I knew that was going to happen. I knew Yukon was going to backstab him at, at that point. I want Honduras to get the kill in Puebla, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Also, Puerto Rico moving in after Honduras now. Is Puerto Rico going to get the kill in Florida? Florida's gone. This has got to be it. It's going to be Quebec. There's a race for what city is this? Orlando? I think I pretty much put it next to Orlando. Nunavut has been destroyed by Oregon. It, they're gone. Man, these borders are so ugly though. This is a problem for Oregon. They are cutting off Yukon from touching Quebec. Sounds weird, but I, I know. Oregon also moving down to Great pa See, this is going to be an issue. Oregon has so many enemies. They're fighting all three of their neighbors and they're dead. Yep, you're gone. You're gone. Yukon's going to get it. Oh, that that is crazy. They, they did so good, but this does mean that South Dakota now has a play here. Look how weak this former like Mexican superpower is now. South Dakota is still getting land, but they're going to be on the front lines having to take on Quebec. South C Dakota, can they do it? Florida's also gone. South Dakota is the last remaining state. Huge war is happening. But Yukon's probably going to backstab South Dakota, I think. Wow, South Dakota's moving in fast. Look at these huge encirclements. Massive encirclements. Probably millions of lost Quebec divisions. There they go. They just keep on declaring. They pieced out, they declare. They pieced out, they declare. What is Yukon doing? Yukon can help, but I just don't think they will. Oh, yeah. Look at these states behind South Dakota. South Dakota is smack dab in the middle of the map. You do not want to be here. You want to start piecing out. Here goes Yukon. Y Yukon's going to do the final death. No, maybe not. Quebec is number one. South Dakota is still in third. South Dakota getting pushed down into the heart. They did just get an alliance with Honduras. I'm not really sure what that's going to do. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there it goes. Oh, this is going to be painful. Look at this massive nation just collapse. Complete collapse. Oh, now everyone's teaming up on them. Pueblo might get really lucky here just because it's it's so hard to get to their capital. Honduras has tried many times. They just can't do it. And then when a nation gets close, you know, like the land starts closing down, it gets difficult. Quebec and Baja might team up to do it. Oh, okay. South Dakota too. It'd be virtually impossible to get to Baja California sewers capital. And Yukon just has so much land. I don't know how anyone's going to get all the way in the corner up here. Quebec looks like they could collapse and, and it might happen right now. That's got to be it. Maybe there'll be one peace deal or or maybe not. Maybe they're just going to go all in right now. Yep, they're going in all. There go the French. The French have been removed from North Dakota entirely. Look at Baja California sewer. Oh, and Puebla has fallen. But we still have... 
Puerto Rico, Honduras. There's there's a lot of powers that you wouldn't expect. Okay, I actually, I actually think that Yukon's just gonna roll over everyone now. They have like more than half the land mass. This is like 75% of all the land. Yeah, I mean, when you're this big, even you can get down this very difficult peninsula. We have definitely pushed this game to its limits because uh, it's just like freezing. Okay, we're now upside down. We were like in the twilight zone for a second there. Honduras and Puerto Rico getting just, I mean, they try to tag team. It's not gonna work. But man, to go down like that, that's kind of beautiful. One last alliance, just fight together. And there it is. Yukon is your winner. That's definitely a first. And big thanks to Why Am I Doing $20 This? $20 is a lot, Drew. Fat Norwal, Drew's Argentinian Bring Grandpa, Chris 3773, Good Old Ryan, I Stole Drew's Pet Jack Dog, Bruni, Nation Lover, Matt Riss, Shortman 5610, Fresh Animations, Robert E, Ronjay, Rye, the, Pie, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, Twicken, Hamstrings, Insaney Boy, 